sides to us, future and the past, and how people see us, and how we see ourselves. I was thinking a lot about that today. That's cool. Um, so today I went to, uh, I'm changing, in the process I'm changing my name legally, and it's a pain in the ass, pretty much. It's a lot easier when you change it on Facebook. Press <laughs> <laughs> enter, are you sure? And like, yeah, I'm sure. It's fun. But, but for real, you gotta like, go to court and publish it in a paper and pay money, and it's just like, yeah. like, uh, God, ridiculous. So there are lawyers who do it pro bono, uh, which is awesome. And so today's my second time seeing them, and it's I saw my birth certificate for the first time, and that was a total head trip because it's, uh, just seeing all this information, and it's, it's like this is the first document that's ever been written about me or whatever, and my parents' names on there. And I had no idea what the doctor's name was who delivered me. And you'd think that'd be something, you know, we would all know, but I had no idea. And I found out I was born at 10.52 at night on a Saturday, which is awesome. I knew it was a Saturday night, <laughs> but like, I'll have to rock and roll. Uh, anyway, I'm sure I was partying then. So, so there's that. So it's, it's really emotional, though, because like, I love my name. It's pretty awesome, but uh, just not right anymore. So with the theme of shadows, the idea of the two parts of yourself, I guess, and leaving behind the the past in a way. Mm. And also, uh, so my best friend growing up is here tonight. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen each other, I think, since 1992. Wow. So I guess I'll do a recap of the past 16 years. <laughs> <laughs> so 1993, I had a bot mitzvah. <laughs> 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 Uh, 1994, I started high school, and it was not nearly as cool as I thought it would be. Uh, so after one year, I joined the ultimate frisbee team. Awesome. Oh my god, it's going so quickly now. Um, junior year. Uh, I was in French class, and I was bored out of my goddamn mind, so I had 90 minute classes. Oh. And I sat behind this really hot girl who's also a friend of mine, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, occupied, I was just fantasizing about kissing the back of her neck. <laughs> and for those of you guys who don't know me, uh, I was born female. So <laughs> at the time, I was like, I'm a girl, I like you girl, oh, trauma. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more extreme than that, but uh, it, it took me a while to even like realize what the, what the deal was. I'm like, oh, I'm just bored. And she was <laughs> fantasizing about kissing the chalkboard. Uh, so then that summer, of course, I met a hot lady. I mean, I was hot, but she was like awesome. So, like, I'm not a lady. But I met this woman who was just like, I couldn't, I couldn't. I was like, oh, guy, fucking like chicks. Oh, great, this sucks. Like, I'm already depressed. I'm already feeling shitty about myself. And now I think I'm queer. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> but I'm like, oh, I'll try to start a gay straight alliance. So when I said that, I did that. Yeah, like, that was pretty swell. And we offered free pizza, and then people came in for the pizza. And then I asked the and we went to Ellen. But we really go around to uh, oh like classrooms about statistics about you know gay kids who kill themselves and you know fun stuff like that. <laughs> and you know the, the statistic which I don't quite it's like that ten percent of people are gay and I kind of think it's I think it was a little bit queer. But, okay. but so we say that to we say that to uh, all the kids and then they go around counting every tenth person and be like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten gay. One, two, three, nine, ten. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that became 1998. <laughs> that was that was fun. I was away from my parents, and that was a good thing. Uh, 1999, my first relationship, not very pleasant. Uh, most first relationships are. I was really depressed, and the highlight of that year was uh, getting stoned, listening to Tribe Called Quest, and playing Dr. Yeah. Mario with my friend. Yeah. Uh, 
senior year, I studied in London, and I fell for a guy for the first time in a long time. He turned out to be 56. Wow! Whoa. 23. He was born in 1956. So he was 43. Still kind of close because I was 19. Really do it, unfortunately, I hoped we would have. After a year of college, I finally started doing stand-up, and I was like, oh, cool, something I'm good at! And I actually enjoy! And then I graduated and had no place to live and no job and... Bad, bad. <laughs> uh, okay, that was 2002. I uh, worked at Pier 1 for a while, that was awesome. <laughs> and, uh, I can't, I can't do this. This, this, these things were made by children, I can't sell them. And my manager was like, people know, they're coming here, they're buying shit, it's okay. How do you yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Packing up flyers around Times Square, that was an awesome job. Uh, 2004, oh my, I got hired. I got hired at an ad agency where I spent the next three years uh, working for the man and uh, trying to sell products to consumers, uh, products I do not need. And um, I felt like shit, so there's a whole lot of, there's a whole whole story about that, but so let's just say that I, I saved up a lot of money and then I quit because I <laughs> refused to do something I found totally morally reprehensible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was not before I was asked to perform at the holiday parties. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Stand up, you can do that. And I was just like, shoot me. That was not pleasant at all. <laughs> so then, uh, okay, 2006. So then I was unemployed for a while, but I'm just going to like hang out, try to chill for a little bit. And if you remember me as a kid, I was very anxious, still am. I don't cry nearly as much, but still quite, you know, frequently. <laughs> so, okay. Then I had a sex change. 